Good morning. Welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here today for a always pleasant task of welcoming Congressman Frank Pallone, who today comes with a big bag of money, $4 million, that he's pledged toward the township of Woodbridge. And not really a bag of money, more like a wire transfer sometime in the future. But uh, we are in, uh, on Cliff Road in Sea Warren. Many years ago, and I'm talking probably late in the 1990s, there was a project to build the Sea Warren walkway. And the goal was to go from the boat launch on one end of Cliff Road all the way to our marina on the other end of Cliff Road. Uh, the guess the money they had only went so far, and we're standing on the spot where it stopped uh, the project way back then. And now this additional $4 million $4 million grant will allow us to fix up what's already been done, but more importantly, extend it as far down as the money will last and hopefully go just about to our marina. Now, our, we have paid a lot of attention to Sea Warren lately, in particular down here. The boat launch has seen a great deal of improvements on one end. At the other end, several years ago, we bought Captain Hook's marina uh, for $1,750,000 and some equipment, and we turned that into our own marina. We then purchased the small section, well, big section, in between our existing marina and Captain Hook's. It was um, a one point Pirates Cove Marina. We bought that for, believe it or not, $140,000, which we later got back and put toward the cleanup. So essentially, we got all that land for free. And now we're in the middle of a major project to turn that into a much bigger marina. We've spent uh, $4 million of county and state grant money that we've gotten in the past on bulkheads and on uh, all kinds of improvements to the area. We're now constructing a tiki bar, a parking lot, uh, an entire landscaped area, uh, all a beautiful at the area going down. And now this important project will connect everything. So it'll be one long Sea uh, Warren River Walk. Also in Sea Warren, everybody has seen the benefit of a major expansion of School 28, uh, uh, Matthew Jago School. Uh, we're working very hard on a light traffic light at uh, Deborah Place and West Avenue. We've put stop signs on Old Road on a couple of places to try to control traffic. That's one thing we've heard a lot from the Sea Warren residents. So there has been an awful lot of work done in Sea Warren lately. Uh, so the residents of this section of town should be very happy with the work that's, that's ongoing, uh, done and ongoing. It gives me great pleasure now to introduce our congressman from the 6th Congressional District, Frank Pallone. He's got a wide area that he represents, 70 some odd towns in Monmouth and Middlesex counties. He always finds time to come to Woodbridge. And when he's got uh, money in his pocket to give to us, he's very, very welcome. And I'm going to let him give you all the details about this project. But he asked us uh, many, many months ago, his staff guy, Matt Monticchio, is very good awesome guy to work with. They called and they said, you know, the round of funding is coming up. What do you guys think you might want money for? So we talked it over and it was actually Vito Simaluca, our business administrator, said, what about the walkway and continuing that? Because we're, again, we're spending so much time and effort at the marina and that was the perfect project. We put it all together thanks to Jeff from um, t and Associates, who's here today also, uh, put together a grant application, submitted to the congressman, and in the crazy world of Washington, they actually got it done, and they got us a $4 million grant. So I'm going to turn it now over to Congressman Pallone to explain all the details. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much, uh, Mayor, and thanks for all that you do, uh, not only in the township, but particularly today in Sea Warren. Although we're uh, talking about Sea Warren, but as, as the Mayor explained, or I'll explain more, this actually ties in with the downtown as well. Uh, and, you know, we expect that people from Woodbridge and beyond Woodbridge uh, are going to actually come here and enjoy it. I mean, you can see how beautiful it is uh, in the in the Sea Warren area. It's always a part of my district that, that I particularly uh, like because it's right on the water. I actually used to be a, a maritime lawyer at one time, so I can like see everything that I that I love. Uh, you know, looking out uh, from Sea Warren out out into the uh, into the water. So um, I wanted to explain. Uh, this is what we call a community project, um, and that may sound like what is that? Well, under the um, appropriation or spending or budget process, if you will, in the federal government, uh, a few years ago we decided that we were going to actually be able to put line items in the appropriations or in the spending bill for community projects. And this is one of them. Uh, and it's $4 million. And the, what 
what you might say, well, how does that, what is that based on? Well, it's based on the fact that uh, the projects that will have the greatest impact on the most people um, and that will, you know, actually make a difference in terms of people's lives or the, or the local area's uh, concerns. And so that's why this was chosen, as the mayor said, working with him and trying to figure out, you know, what would best uh, fall into that category. Uh, but it basically, you know, I don't want to repeat what the mayor said, but it's going to make, you know, it's going to be allow Woodbridge to make critical repairs to walkways and construct new ones, as we can see here, uh, so that the residents have safe and easy access to the waterfront and some of the local parks, including the county parks. We're going to hear from our uh, county uh, commissioner director soon, Ron. Uh, but also the idea is to revitalize the area around the waterfront, bolster economic development of Woodbridge, and it not only um, it not only is going to help, as I said, Sea Warren and Woodbridge, but it's going to complement investments that the township is making at the marina that the that the mayor already talked about. And you know, some of these include the boat launch, the boat slip facilities, new dot, new dog park, additional pedestrian footbridge that provides access to the Middlesex County Park, Alvin P. Williams Middlesex County Park. But I also want to point out, as I said, that it's going to connect the community to downtown Main Street, uh, enhancing the efforts to, to make Woodbridge a walkable community and bringing it closer to achieving its Vision Zero Action Plan. Now, beyond being a useful asset to Woodbridge Township, it is expected to draw visitors from far beyond Woodbridge. I actually have some, uh, in my office in New Brunswick, some pictures of Sea Warren in the 19th century when it was uh, primarily a uh, beach resort. It was like the first place at the shore, so to speak, that you would come down to from North Jersey or from New York. And so, you know, we also expect it to be a boon to tourism uh, because people would want to come here. Um, the way that, um, the, the one thing I really want to stress though is that, and, and the mayor touched on this, you know, you've heard a lot in the last few months about uh, dysfunctionality, if you will, in Congress, right? This was part of a, what we call a minibus bill that passed last week uh, that prevented a, a government shutdown. And this week, actually tomorrow, I'm going to go down and we've got, we're hoping that we can do the second bill that will prevent a government shutdown. And so people keep looking at all this and they say, well, you know, they don't do anything in Washington. They just, you know, they're, they're dysfunctional. But the fact of the matter is we do get certain things done. And this is a perfect example uh, this project of the kinds of things that we're doing that get things done. And I like to concentrate on the things that get done rather than uh, talk about, you know, the dysfunctionality because ultimately we do get things done. So I'm just looking forward to uh, working with the mayor and Woodbridge and also our county leader um, in, in accomplishing this. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Ron Rios, who, as you know, is the uh, director of the county uh, board of commissioners. Thank you, Congressman. This is a uh, this is a really beautiful place here. I, growing up next door to Sea Warren in Port Reading, I always loved coming here to Sea Warren. And I correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was back when it was called Boynton Beach over yeah. here that people would come and uh, visit from all over. It's a pleasure to be here today alongside Congressman Pallone as we commemorate a significant milestone for our community. Congressman Pallone's unwavering dedication and efforts in securing crucial funding for the Woodbridge River Walk are truly commendable. Today we stand here together on the brink of creating something truly remarkable. The Waterfront Improvement Project holds great promise in improving the lives of our residents and increasing economic growth in the county. Sea Warren Waterfront has long been a hidden gem and its future is poised to shine even brighter with the opening of an outdoor tiki bar and improved waterfront access. This significant funding underscores our dedication to preserving the environment and instilling pride, not only in Woodbridge Township, but throughout the whole county. As a testament to our shared commitment, the county and Woodbridge Township are partnering together to build a bridge that will connect Alvin Williams Park to the newly expanded marina upon completion and to expand waterfront access to everyone. This project isn't just about building infrastructure, it's about creating relationships and making bridges that bring us together for a greater purpose. Together we can shape a brighter future for Woodbridge and pave the way for a sustainable and vibrant community. I'd like to express my 
heartfelt gratitude to Congressman Pallone, the 19th Legislative District, Mayor McCormick, who's always on top of things in here in Woodbridge, making things better for everybody, and his team for their visionary leadership in shaping a more sustainable future. Their unwavering support has in, been indispensable in turning this dream into reality. And we're always looking to work together with all our communities, and Woodbridge is truly a remarkable place to live, work, and play. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thanks. So, oh, you want to introduce Holly? Yeah. Go ahead. yeah. Thank you very much. Since I didn't get a chance to introduce Ron, I just want to thank him. The original grant, we started this all with a $2.5 million grant to buy the, uh, I was going to say poor Billy's, Captain Billy's, uh, marina that came from the county they also gave us additional money to start the uh, the project for the bulkhead so we put some money in ourselves so far but the vast amount of money that we have spent has come from either ron rios and the, and the uh, middlesex county commissioners or congressman frank pallone and just ron just want to remind you we do have another two million dollar grant application in for the fiscal uh, 2024 uh, middlesex county budget just a reminder and Congressman touched on the dog park. I forgot to mention that, but we had a million two grant from the state of New Jersey DEP Green Acres program to build a brand new dog park behind the one that exists, so one for larger dogs, one for smaller dogs. And then the current area where the park is will be turned to, into parking for the dog park. So there's so much going on down here. Uh, and it's really thanks to the two people right behind me, Ron Rios and Frank Pallone. I'd now like to call on the president of the Chamber of Commerce in Woodbridge, Holly Church Doyle, to talk about the impact of it on the uh, Woodbridge economy. Thank you, Mayor McCormick, Congressman Pallone, and Commissioner Rios. I am proud to serve as the executive director for the Woodbridge Chamber of Commerce. The mission of the Chamber of Commerce is to drive economic growth in Woodbridge Township and our surrounding communities. 2024 is a milestone year for the Woodbridge Chamber of Commerce as we are celebrating 60 years of service to the business community. The Woodbridge Waterfront Walkway Project will lay the foundation for us to support the community for another 60 years after I'm long gone but Mayor McCormick will probably still be here <laughs> while having a multifaceted impact on economic vitality. This sidewalk will be part of a connection from Main Street through Woodbridge Avenue down Cliff Road. This walkway will create community development and attract potential investors and businesses. Walkable neighborhoods encourage economic activity and become more accessible to our non-driving residents. Residents will now appreciate a comfortable public space and a footbridge that will provide access to the Alvin P. Williams Middlesex County Park. Tourists and visitors will explore the township and will be more likely to spend time in local shops and restaurants, hence increasing economic activity. The Woodbridge Metro Chamber of Commerce is here to support all businesses, existing and future businesses. It is my commitment that the Chamber will support everyone, and I'm looking forward to being here when the project is complete. Thank you. So a couple of people have talked about the bridge now from our land into the county park. Right now, the only way to get to the county park is through land that neither the town nor the county own. It's owned by PSE&G, and that's always a bit risky. So what the county's doing with the investment to get from our land to theirs is just monumental. It's going to make it so much easier uh, for everybody down here. So now our last speaker, I thought it was appropriate to get somebody, since we're all talking about walking uh, down from Town Hall down to Seawarn and all over the walkway, we should have somebody who actually does walk it. And that would be Carol Orlick. She is uh, fierce on, uh, on um, physical fitness and with the Mayor's Wellness Committee and you name it. And she's a regular walker with several people from Town Hall, including Sharon McAuliffe, our council person, and the first word here, from Town Hall down to Seawarn and back and up and down here. So let me ask her to say a few words. As someone who's actually done this before, looking out, I don't see anybody out here who I think 
walks between Town Hall and Sea Warren. So I'm looking at George Brew. I'm looking at Phil Bajowski. I'm looking at Higgins and Molnar. I don't see anybody who walks up and down Woodbridge Avenue. So let me ask somebody to speak who actually does. So it is my pleasure to attest to what a great walk it is from Town Hall down to Wood on Woodbridge Avenue down to here and then walk down the road, go to the park, do a lap and go back to Town Hall. It's a on a beautiful day, it's a beautiful walk. And every time I did it, I said to myself, why does the sidewalk end? And now it's going to continue, which is terrific. And also, as um, everybody knows, we've bought, built a number of apartments downtown. And to each of the developers, I said, when you talk to your new tenants about what the amenities are here in Woodbridge, aside from having a vibrant downtown, you also have a marina and a park and now a full walkway right here, a beautiful walk away from C. Warren. And I, I'm sure people, when they got the apartments, if they didn't know, they would never know how beautiful it is down here. So thank you, Congressman. As always, the biggest supporter of Woodbridge. So to wrap it up, I would just say that there's a business opportunity here now. Kali talked about the impact it's gonna have on businesses. If I were anybody, I would put a, a taxi stand or an Uber franchise right at the end of Cliff Road by the Tiki Bar because most people are going to do half a walk and get down here and they're not going to want to walk back. So if you're energetic and looking for an investment, taxi, Uber, Lyft, something from the Tiki Bar back to Town Hall because no one's going to make the full trip anymore. Thank you all for coming out. This is a wonderful announcement. It's, an announcement. it's great for the residents of Seawarn. As I said, a whole lot happening in this part of town in the last couple of years into the next, next couple. So thank you all for coming out.